What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for data science. In today's video we're going to get deeper into Matplotlib and to learn about subplots and plotting into multiple windows. So let us get into the code. So again the first thing that we're going to do is to import numpy as and p and matplotlib matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So the next step now is to prepare some data because a subplot, what is a subplot essentially? Uh, is that you have one window of uh, matplotlib, like one matplotlib window, but you have two or four or six different plots in this window, so subplots basically. Um, so let's just say x equals np.lin space, um, or actually let's, let's use a range, and let's say from 0 to 100, step size 1. And then we're going to say y equals np.sign x and y2, let's call this y1, y2 equals x to the power of 2 uh, plus 2x or something like that. Uh, plus 2 times x, of course. Okay, so we have two different functions that we want to plot in separate plots, but in the same window. Uh, and in order to do that, we need to define subplots. So we're going to say plt, or actually we're going to say x for axis, uh, x1 equals um, np.subplot, uh, sorry, not np, plt.subplot, because it's math.lib, of course. <clears throat> and now we're just going to define a numeric value in, uh, in here. So we're going to pass an integer and this integer is composed of three digits. So we're going to say 211. And the first digit gives you information about how many rows do we have in this uh, window. So how many different rows of subplots do we want to have. The second one tells you how many uh, different columns of subplots you want to have. So in this case, we have two rows, so two subplots uh, and just one column. So we don't have four. If we would have two, two, we would have four different subplots. Uh, and the last number or the last digit gives you the information about the index of this particular subplot. So if you have two subplots um, and you say this is index one, this is the first subplot, so it will be placed uh, at the top and the second one will be 212 and it will be placed on the bottom. So let's just say x2 equals plt.subplot <coughs> um, 212. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to use uh, these variables here as uh, our plotting variables. So x1.plot. Uh, and now we're just going to plot x and y1. And on x2, we're going to plot x and y2. <clears throat> so in the end, plt.show. And we should be able to see this work. Yeah, as you can see, we have two subplots here. They have different uh, axes. <coughs> Sorry, um, they have different axes. We have the sine function up here. We have the um, x squared times or x squared plus 2x um, down here. So these are the subplots. We have two, two rows and just one column. So we have two subplots. Of course, I could also go ahead and say, okay, give me uh, two rows, two columns. And then we would have uh, something like that. So we would have here, here, uh, here would be the third one, here would be the fourth one, and that's it. But the sign function looks kind of shitty, so let's just say step size of 0 0.2. Maybe it will be a little bit smoother then. Yeah, as you can see. So. <clears throat> that's how you do subplots in Python. You just define how many rows, how many columns you want to have, and then you plot multiple things inside of one window. Now, before we get into the next topic, I want to show you one more thing that I forgot about. Uh, and this is, you probably noticed when we executed this, that it doesn't look um, well arranged. For example, you can see here the 10,000 uh, number here goes into the first subplot. So it's not really a good layout to have. Um, and if we want to arrange that or pack the whole uh, window, what we can do is we can say plt.tight layout, and then we would have uh, 
a better layout because then we would have the right spacings, the right margins, as you can see. Um, also, let's just define two more subplots here, x3 and x4. And we're now going to say three and four. <clears throat> and then we're just going to plot um, the same thing here, but in a different color, for example. So let's say this is red and this is green. And you'll see that with a tight layout, all the spacings, all the margins are perfect. We don't have any problems. It looks fine. I'm a little bit laggy right now. Um, but if I remove this, for example, you'll see that it doesn't look very beautiful. As you can see, so it, it's like very, very, uh, it's not actually tight, but it's, it's like uh, one plot goes into the other plot and it's not uh, what we want to have. So just use the plt.tightLayout function and you're going to have a beautiful and well-adjusted plot. So now let's talk about multiple plotting windows because now we said we want to plot multiple plots in one window, but what if we want to have three windows at the same time? Uh, then we will have to define figures. So subplots are all in one figure, but we might want to have uh, different figures. So what we're going to say is we're going to remove all these subplots uh, and all of that here, maybe even that. And now we're going to say plt.figure1. And now we can start working in our figure. So here again, I can define some subplots. So let's say um, x1 equals, uh, I don't know, plt.plot, again, the same thing, x, y1 in green color, uh, and x2, oh, sorry, what am I doing here? Uh, plt.subplot, of course, 211, that's the right way to do it. Um, and here we're going to say subplot 212, x2 plot x actually we want to have y1 here and y2 here uh, and here we're going to have a red color so we have two subplots in the first figure and now we're going to define a second figure so plt figure 2 and here we're just going to say plt.plot um, x and y1 plain blue col uh, color and we're going to say plt.figure3, um, of course. And now let's define just y3 equals np. Dot, uh, or, yeah, np.lockx. And we're going to say plt.plot x, y3. Now we have two, uh, three different figures, and they uh, they are all going to show up at the same time. So let's run this, and okay, um, you see that I have three windows at the same time because usually if you plot uh, multiple times in a row with uh, multiple show commands, you get different windows, but one after the other. By using the figure function or creating new figures, you have all of them at the same time. So. Now I have all my three figures here with subplots, without subplots and all that. So this is how you plot into multiple windows with Matplotlib. So that's it for today's episode. We learned how to build subplots, how to create subplots in Python, in Matplotlib. We learned how to plot into multiple windows. And of course, depending on the application that we're building, this is a very useful skill because sometimes we want to have five subplots uh, because we want to compare the different graphs. Sometimes we want to have multiple windows open depending on what we're building, of course. So this is a very useful skill to have and we can now build on that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it, if you learned something. As always, feel free to ask questions and give feedback in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.